Alright, so it's the morning of the 8th right now. I'm getting ready to head out and uh, pick up my buddy. Uh, we're going to be moving out, heading out to Forks this morning. Uh, we're going to start off probably the Bogus Shale, that's the river I know the best out of the three. Um, but we might move around and uh, check it out. Uh, so, more updates to come. To the Bogashiel, <laughs> up by the uh, steelheaded rearing ponds. Looks like you can see there's no one around right now, which is awesome. So either there's no fish here, or maybe the river's closed. I don't know. But out here with my buddy Humberto Mendoza. Let's, go on, let's get some fish, man. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Here we are, this is the first spot we're giving a try. Just saw a fish roll about right in here. Couldn't tell whether it was a uh, springer or a king, but uh, we're giving this a shot right here. Doing some floating, we're trying some nightmare jigs, trying some eggs, shrimp, pink worms. Uh, we'll see what happens, water's really clear. You can probably see down in there right now. Moving really good speed, just a matter of time now. Any words of wisdom, Bert? Yeah. Keep going until you get one. Keep going until you get one. All right, that'll work. So here we are, hole number two. This looks like a little junction here that we're fishing. There's Bert doing some floats, kicking ass, taking names. So far, Still fishless, however, this looks very promising right in here. Very promising. I have, I've seen tons of drift boats here before, so this must it's gotta be a gotta be a place where there's some fish. I don't know if you can see it, but right at the tip of my finger there, bald eagle just flew in. He's just sitting up on that branch, he's just watching us very carefully. I'm trying to see if I can't watch it fly but if he's here there's got to be fish here right he's watching us maybe we'll get to see him grab a fish that'd be cool America hey here's Bert All right. uh, just after not even two seconds after I was done filming that that bald eagle Bert hooks up here nice little native steelhead so He's got a nice one here. What do you got to say, Bert? How's it feel? Oh, it feels good. It broke my my reel. <laughs> yep. Just as he went to set the hook, the uh, the handle on his rear reel snapped right off. So we ended up hand lining this thing in. Oh, man. What a fish. Oh, good job, man. Oh, thanks, man. Woo. Hold her up real quick. Just, just easy. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So it's the end of uh, day one right now. Uh, we just got invited back to... Um, one of the guys that's uh, running this for us, and uh, he invited us back to do a bonfire. And 
I'll tell you what, he's got some awesome property right on the Bogashiel River. And I'm not talking about just a couple of feet, I'm talking about hundreds if not thousands of feet on this on this river. So me, and you can see Mendoza, tiny little Mendoza, can't really see him very well, but right here on the Bogashiel fishing, uh, topping it off at the end of day one. Um, I'm gonna get back to fishing now. Good morning guys, day two. About 6.30 in the morning right now, we're getting ready to go meet up with the guides and uh, all the other people that we have going on the trip. It's kind of cool because the guides picked us instead of us picking the guides, so that's something different. I didn't sleep very well. I never do in hotels. I'm going to start bringing my king size bed with me everywhere. I wonder if it'll fit in my car. All right, so here we are, day number two. Bert's getting ready. He's ready for day number two. Yep, day number two. <laughs> Let's get me my second one now. <laughs> uh, he's already talking some mad trash, and we haven't even haven't even gotten any lines in the water. But meeting up uh, seven o'clock with the guides uh, and everybody else is, that's going to be a part of it's going to meet over there. It's actually a kind of cool thing. Uh, the guides chose us. So we got our guide, I'm not sure what river we were going to, he seemed like he was going to keep it a secret from everybody else, it's kind of the way it was going, so I'm hoping that uh, we get on some good fish today, and I don't know about him, I didn't sleep very good last night, but I never do in a hotel, so I need a fish to wake me up, here we go. Alright, here we are. Gonna be fishing the whole river today for steelhead. Maybe if we get real lucky, uh, some springers. Drift boats in the water. Good old Bert and our awesome guide. So you get to see the the color of this water is just awesome, awesome. What you call steelhead green. Here we go. Yeah. Recording. Riding some waves on the whole river. I gotta get back to fishing. There it is. Bird got one. We're out of fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's a nice buck too. Yeah, he's pretty. All right. It's about time, Bert. I know, maybe that's that one I missed out upstream there, huh? Oh no, the one upstream I think was bigger than that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So. Confirmation. <laughs> My pliers are over there. That's a nice size nice fish there. Yeah, it oh, is. He's pretty, he's got that red stripe, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, now they're going to do all this and not let me turn them loose. I see it, I just, you want to host it? Give him a drink. Don't let him out, I want to take pictures. I didn't get a few, I didn't get a few drugs. There he goes. He's going to go, maybe. <laughs> He's going to hide on you. Oh, there he goes. All right. That's how you feel, CJ. Awesome, man. <laughs> Look at that fish. You are the, the tail out of the net and hold third fish of the night today. It's a monster. Turn it, turn it to me. I look up here. You want to get, you get video in there? Yeah, I'm getting a video. Awesome. Beautiful fish. That's what it's all about right here. Let's <laughs> get her in the water. Hold her face. Hold her upstream into the current. Face into the current. Let her, she's tired, man.
That's a fish. What did you say she weighs? 10, 12. Yeah. There you go. CJ's on another fish. Here we go, Johnson on his fourth one. Fighter. This rod's too high in the air. Well, I got, I'm getting both. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh, almost got his head on top of the line there. Tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move down a little closer to shore. All right. And I'll go fall down. Well, it's a little small island right there. Yeah, that's where we're going. Watch it, don't hit those rock tips. Right side. Get over on the right side. Turn, turn, stand up if you have to. He's still there, he's still there. Tighten up. Bird's got one on. There you go, there you go. There you go, there you go, there you go. Stay with it, stay with it. Catch up, catch up. 
Up easy. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Woo! Yeah! There you go. There you go. Okay, grab this lid. I got a roll. Yeah. Woo! I can't grab the So that's the end of the day two. Bert and I did had a really good day today with uh, guy John Rand on the Fallen Outdoors trip today. Uh, he's over there about ready to pass out. He's pretty wore out. The sun beating down on us. Uh, we ended up going six for seven today uh, with for steelhead. Um, the biggest one being around, around around 12, 13 pounds or so. Uh, had a really good day. And that one fish that we did lose probably would have been the biggest of the day out of all the groups uh, but who knows we didn't get it so end of day two we got day three coming on tomorrow birds are gonna pass out eventually but uh he'll make it we got one more day we got dinner man. we got dinner we got dinner dinner and, drinks. dinner and a couple of beers is gonna do us good tonight so till tomorrow all right so it's the start of day three and it's a rough start thanks to the guys over at the elk lodge um here in Forks and the Lions Club. Uh, they helped make this a rough start for us, but we're up. We're going to go see if we can get ourselves a couple more steelhead this morning. And, uh, and then we're going to call it uh, three days. So let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> 